Welcome back, guys. And like we said, we're ending it on a beautifully sweet note today. And we're making a pear tartata. Ta -ta. ta -ta. ta -ta. <laughs> it we sounds like, so sexy to me. We like the French. We but like the fancy stuff. But it is a sexy dish. It is. It's like an upside down tart. I know, right? But then to make the pear tartata, we start off with po poached uh, pears. Yeah. And you're going to show us how to actually poach a pear because I'm going to do the rest of the ingredients um, yeah. afterwards. So please walk us or talk us through what exactly you're doing. <laughs> So I've cut the pear and I'm, we're going to leave it in half. Say so okay. you left yours in the half. Yeah. So I've, I've sliced the pear and I'm just going to put it down like that. I'm going to add some water to the pot. Oh, we are steaming it up oh. here today, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got some sugar in here. It's very easy to poach a mm. pear, actually. Very easy. It sounds very fancy. And I've got some um, vanilla essence in here and a squeeze of lemon juice. Ooh. And if people can find this recipe on afternoonexpress.co.za. And that tombs is it. I'm going to cut more up here and okay. steam some more. I'm still going to add a bit of rosemary in there to give it a bit more flavour. <laughs> a bit more flavour and je ne sais quoi. Oh, guys, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so while you're doing that and poaching the uh, pears, I'm going to show, because we've got a nice, tasty, but very herby, syrup that goes oh, with this and to yeah. start it off we've got some rosemary that's already uh, in the pan nice. and i just go in with some honey so what happens is once the honey hits the pot it's going to actually just uh, dissolve not dissolve actually it's going to get very runny so yeah. you don't have to worry about it being too thick so what we're trying to do now we're basically just trying to infuse the lemon the honey with, with that rosemary flavor Stunning. Amazing. I know. <laughs> Amazing. We sound, sound like um, Generation Z. Is it? Amazing. Oh, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so we let this reduce for a bit, or rather, we just let it loosen up. Yeah. While that happens, I'm going to start cutting out the, the shapes for, or the yes. tart, the puff pastry for our tart. So yeah. all we need to do is cut, cut out some pear shapes. But I actually have some. Don't um, need to go pear shape. <laughs> you and your one liners. <laughs> We've got some pears that we actually did poach earlier on. Yeah. These, this is how they look. Basically oh. nice and divine. Absorb all that vanilla flavor. Absorb all that sugar. Yeah. Absorb all those amazing lemony flavors in there. So I'm just going to make some tart shells for our pears. While and you're these... doing that, sister, I just want to say we're using Baker's. I flat alles fall for none. We're using Baker's um, brand, brand rusks. rusks. They are from the Baker Man can. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is because we're letting this reduce, yeah, I'm going to put the, I've, I've let it reduce very well here. So all that's going to happen is I want to put the syrup at the bottom <gasps> and I'm going to let the rosemary go in there as well because we want to maintain that rosemary flavor, yes. but we're not going to actually eat the rosemary like yes. this because I mean, who's going to do that? <laughs> and then we take our pears, you stuff them in here. I like to keep Ooh. the top up so you can actually see this top part. And don't worry about, oh my gosh, what if it falls apart? Don't worry, oh. this is a very rustic recipe. And just put these in there. Yeah. And then you just bake them in the oven. And basically what's going to happen is, it's going to bake down nicely. The puff pastry is going to puff up. It's going to be nice, crispy on the outside. Yes. And then it's going to be nice and soft on the inside baking beautifully and it's going to be basically it's like a, a blanket for the summer. Yes, it's like a warm little winter blanket yes. for the pear. Yes. All right, and then I'm going to bake this in the oven yeah. for until it's nice and golden brown. Yeah. But luckily for you South Africa, we worked our magic and we've got some that we made earlier on today. Yeah. Because I want to show you guys exactly how divine this is, right? That's not where we end. We make a crumble. Yes. But I was done. I good. am not done. We're going to make a crumble to go on top of our amazing dish using these beautifully mm. crumbly, buttery, flaky bran rusks. You know what I love? Yeah. Baker's has basically taken a beautiful rusk and added the baker's touch of magic. I know, just like the extra bread. I, I eat it twice a day. In the morning <laughs> when I wake up, in my coffee, I mm -hmm. dip it in for brekkie. And then at night before I go to sleep, in a hot cup of milk. Ooh. So really? what we're doing now is I'm crushing these guys. This is this doesn't need elbow grease. Like we keep saying, the yeah. baker's rusks are so nice and flaky. Yeah. So you don't need to worry. Then we go in with some desiccated coconut, uh, coconut that's been toasted, some icing sugar. Oh. 
and some oats. Oh, nice, healthy, so healthy in between everything. Exactly, oh. so the great thing about this recipe is that you can actually enjoy it as is. Right? I tasted that crunch before and it's divine. <laughs> it works so perfectly with this. So this is what our pear is going to look like, our pear <gasps> tartar time. how beautiful it but is. But this is not enough. But do it in the pan. Turn all those three around. Let me show, around. Actually, yeah, let me show you guys how it's going to look, right? it's going to be like such a reveal. You've got it over here. Let me turn it over so you can see how amazing these are. That's how they look. Oh. And then we put our amazing kambul on mm. top. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be crumble bay. There's salt bay, I'm crumble bay. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> yummy. Guys, please make sure you get the recipe because this right here is indulgence on a higher grade, right? And then to enjoy it all, <gasps> pour some custard over it. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> Amazing, and yes, I am taking this whole pan to my house to indulge over the weekend. Are you? And you too can do the same. Get all the ingredients on afternoonexpress.co.za. <laughs> <laughs> Make the most of winter's simple pleasures with the new Baker's Good Morning brand Rusks. 